Now in this lecture, so I am going to discuss about the monostable operation using triple five timer. So this is the circuit construction. So triple five timer again, it will have eight pins. But uh, as we have seen in the stable multivibrator, sixth and two pin is short circuited, and between sixth and seven there is R A and R B. But in this case, we are connecting a trigger pulse to this trigger terminal so that is why it is called trigger means we will give some uh, trigger pulse that is whenever we need some pulse we will give the some trigger pulse here otherwise we will it will be simply vcc so when we know the operation you, you will uh, see why this vcc is there and this is a triggering pulse right now if you see the internal circuit you may have seen like this so this is the upper comparator this is the lower comparator upper comparator po positive is connected to sixth terminal that is v the threshold terminal v6 and this minus is connected to 2 by 3 vcc which is vth higher threshold voltage similarly positive is connected to 1 by 3 vcc negative terminal is connected to the trigger terminal that is i am considering as v2 in this case it is r vi or ei and the seventh pin is connected to transistor that is called discharge terminal that we will see now when we start the operation so there should be some assumption so what i am assuming here is assume that v naught is low so so v naught is now low value now how to get low value means we need some conditions so depending on this suppose we are assuming v naught is equal to low in what our input should be high so inverter should be high means the high r we can say logic one so whenever it is high the transistor is on so whenever this is on so there is a capacitor here c between seventh and these two are short circuited so again i am using this different so the capacitor will now discharge through this transistor that means it is fully discharged means this plus minus vc will become zero volt so whenever vc is zero or v7 is zero if you see the circuit sixth and seventh terminal is short circuit that means v6 also will become zero right so this is the actual condition and what is the initial value of vi or v2 if you see this initial value from at zero volt or up to this point it is vcc so that's why this is simply vcc right now we will see the operation now when v6 is equal to 0 and this negative terminal is connected to 2 by 3 vcc minus is greater than the positive so upper comparator will give minus v sat or we can say 0 logic 0 similarly in the lower comparator plus is connected to 1 by 3 vcc minus is connected to vcc again in this case also minus is greater so again it will give minus v sat so that means it is also logic zero whenever r and s flip flop for a logic zero zero so r is equal to zero s is equal to zero output will be previous state that is we can say no change in the output so it is the we hear no change here no change means the output what we assume that is true or we can say it will follow the low value only that is no change in output so this is the initial assumption right now so whenever it is low if until unless this v2 is vcc and this condition exists so whenever v2 is equal to vcc or vi is equal to vcc output will be in low state only so it is in an ideal state we can say ideal state now what happens suppose when we apply a some pulse that is now see this is the second condition v6 still it is zero only that means this capacitor is v7 is discharged the moment when we apply this trigger terminal voltage vi so previously it was vcc suppose if i apply a negative going trigger pulse that means vcc to zero so vcc to zero means it will be less than one by third vcc the moment we apply less than 1 by 3rd VCC, positive is at 1 by 3rd VCC, negative at is less than 1 by 3rd VCC. That means the positive terminal voltage is higher than the negative terminal voltage. That means 
the lower competitor will provide plus vsat or logic 1 in the upper competitor the positive terminal is 0 negative terminal is 2 by 3 vcc that means it will provide the minus vsat only because negative voltage is greater than the positive voltage that is logic 0 the moment r is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 so set value is 1 so q will be 1 q bar will be 0 the moment q bar is 0 it is going to the transistor q1 so the transistor q1 is off in this condition and this zero is going to the inverter so output will become high right so whenever capac this transistor is off the capacitor now charges c so through r a that we will see but we can say the capacitor is now charging right again i am explaining whenever we apply negative going to gear pulse like this less than 1 by third vcc so you will get s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 so s will become 1 uh, q bar will be, q, q will become 1 q bar will become 0 so the output will be high in this case the transistor will be off then the capacitor is now charging now how it will charge if you see this circuit diagram so now the this seventh in uh, this transistor is off so now the capacitor c is the path to towards vcc ra and c so the capacitor is now charging from zero volts right so how much it will charge so depending on what conditions we have to find suppose suppose now capacitor is charging and when the, the moment when v6 or that threshold voltage is greater than 2 by third vcc so this is the condition now plus voltage is greater than 2 by third vcc but minus is at 2 by third vcc the upper competitor will give now plus vcr that is 1 right but if you see this uh, trigger pulse the trigger pulse we applied is very small in a width right so it is low value the next next uh, very small time it will become high value so that that means we need to assume v2 is equal to vcc right so minus c is now is greater than the positive right so it will become minus v sat or logic 0 now if you see r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 the output q will become 0 q bar will become 1 that is high so the moment it is high again the transistor will be on now the capacitor is discharges that is whenever vc is greater than 2 by third vcc now the capacitor will discharge and that means uh, we have to see the output also so inverter input is 1 so output will become low value now if you see from this condition when we apply a trigger pulse that is v2 or we can say vi is less than 1 by third vcc the output is become high right then the capacitor is charging the moment the capacitor voltage is greater than 2 by third vc this 2 by 3 vcc the output is becoming low value and the capacitor is discharging right now how much time it will take to discharge previously it was it is time constant is ra into c whenever it is charging but whenever it is discharging there is no resistance in this path so the time constant in this case it is zero that means very quick it will discharge to ground right so very quick quickly discharges to ground level that is zero level but in this case the previous condition now the capacitor is charging in this case time constant is r a into c right because the charging path is r a this is the path r a and c right now we will draw the waveforms for this conditions now if you see the waveforms so what is the waveforms we will get here is so this is we need to apply some trigger pulse that is like this this is the trigger this is vcc here i can say one by third vcc right next one is we need to see the v c value there is capacitor voltage and similarly the our output value v naught now we assume initially v naught is zero right 
now in this case v2 this is we can say v2 or vi this is vc vc or v6 right so initially vc that is zero volt only up to this vi is equal to v or v2 is equal to vcc the output will be zero only right the capacitor voltage is zero similarly the output voltage is also zero the moment when we apply less than 1 by 3 vcc a trigger pulse the vcc will now start charging the output will become high this is vcc right now now it is charging charging so maximum it can reach is 2 by 3 vcc we have seen already the moment it is greater than 2 by 3 vcc the output will become low and the capacitor is discharges to ground very quick see it is charging time and this is the discharging time so it is very quick discharges right now this is the pulse or high time or the time period what we are generating so right? high time so it is a pulse width we can say this is the pulse width we are generating so that pulse we need to find that we will see in the next lecture but this is the waveform what we discussed in the in this lecture so again i am repeating the moment when we apply so initially it was low value so for these conditions you will get similarly low value only the moment when we apply vi or trigger voltage less than 1 by 3 vcc the output will become high and the capacitor charges the moment when vi or v sorry v6 is greater than 2 by 3 vcc the output becoming low value all right so and this is the capacitance voltage so greater than 2 by 3 vcc and it is getting low value right so how to find the time period or th on time we will see in the next class